Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create eye-catching captions like this for free for your YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, or any video that you need to place subtitles on. If you don't know, captions like these are so important for short videos as many people tend to watch them while muted. And popular short creators like Alex Hormozzi and others use this in their videos to gain more views and grow their followers. The tool we'll be using for this is called Descript. It is a free tool with a lot of capabilities, which you can download to your PC or Mac. I'll place the link in the description below. And you can also go to Descript.com and then scroll down to the bottom to click on the download button. Wait for it to download and follow the prompt to install. After installation, you may need to sign up for a free account and you will be brought to this dashboard. To create the captions, we need to start a new project by clicking on New Project. You can click here to choose a file to transcribe or drag and drop your video anywhere on the canvas. Click on Done and wait for it to transcribe the audio to text. Whenever you want to play the video, use your spacebar or click the play button at the bottom. Here are five time management hacks for busy people. The next step is the caption. You can add a caption for a sentence by highlighting it and clicking on the text icon at the top. Then choose captions. This will add caption to the selected text without adding it to others. But we need to add a caption to the entire video. So click on the text icon one more time and select caption. There will be a blue line under the texts to show that it has applied captions to it and you'll also see it on the video. There are five time management hacks for busy people. As you can see, it got this first word wrong. So to edit it, you can either highlight the text and click on correct, or you can use the shortcut by pressing the letter C on your keyboard. This will change the handle to editing mode, then you can click on the text and make the corrections. I will repeat the same for this as I prefer the number five to the word. The next thing is to customize the captions. To do this, click on the text and a bar will appear on the right side for you to customize it. Click on the toggle button beside captions and you can choose a style from this dropdown. The default style is the classic, which is the one that is currently applied. And you can also choose clean, which won't show a word until it is spoken but the one we'll be using here is the karaoke style. You can choose the primary color by clicking on fill. I'll leave this on white. Then change the background color as well. I'll choose green. You can then change the future word color here also, and I'll prefer it to be white as the main color. To change the font, you should click on the dropdown under text. You can select a font here or upload your own font by clicking the plus icon. This will however require a paid plan and will give you more flexibility, but the native fonts are also okay. So I'll choose Sora and set the weight to extra bold. To make your caption pop, you can add a border to it by clicking this plus icon. Then you can set the thickness here. You may also add a background here and choose a color for it. But I won't use that, so I'll click on the minus button. The next thing is to change the position of the caption. Some people place it in the middle, while others place it lower. What you must be aware of is that if you place it at the bottom, YouTube will place some stuff there like your handle and title, which will prevent the caption from being seen. So, let's play this. Time management hacks for busy people. 1. Use the Pomodoro technique. Now, if you want the captions to be on two lines instead of one, you should click and drag the handle downward. Also, I like to have the figure first, then the subheading to follow. So I'll click on letter C on my keyboard to correct, change this to one, and add a dot after it. Let's play it. Busy people. 1. Use the Pomodoro I think it's better. And the next step is to add emojis. This is also used to express the feelings of the video. 
So if we want to add an emoji to where it says time management, you need to go to this website called Quick Tools. I'll leave the link for you in the description below. It's free and you don't need to sign up. So type a related keyword in the search bar. For this one, we need the time emoji. Then click anyone you like. It will automatically copy to your clipboard. And you can also see it at the editor below. Back to Descript. And I'll press letter C to enter correction mode. Then click on time. And paste the emoji here using Ctrl plus V. So, let's watch this. There are five time management hacks for busy people. Let's do the same for this. Copy an emoji and paste it in the correction mode. People. One, use the Pomodoro technique. Break your. So I'll repeat the same for the remaining captions. Add emojis. Edit some texts that are not correct. And I will skip this video to the next step. When you are okay with your video, you can save it by clicking on Publish. Then go to the Export tab. You can tweak the settings if you wish, and then click on Export. Wait for a few minutes, and it will be saved to your computer. Now, if you don't have access to a PC, I've shown you a way to add a caption to your shorts with an online tool in my last video, which you don't need to download any software. I'll leave the link to that in the description below. And before we play the final result, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please do so and turn on the notification bell. There are more tutorials to come on Digital Scholar. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. So, let's play the video. There are five time management hacks for busy people. 1. Use the Pomodoro technique. Break your work day into 25 minute intervals with a 5 minute break in between. Repeat this cycle 4 times, then take a 15 to 20 minute break. This technique helps increase focus and productivity. 2. Prioritize tasks. Make a to-do list and prioritize tasks by importance and deadline. This helps ensure important tasks get done first and prevents last minute rushes. 3. Learn to say no. Busy people often have trouble saying no, leading to overcommitment and time management issues. Learn to prioritize your own needs and say no to non-essential tasks. 4. Set boundaries. Turn on notifications during work time and establish boundaries with colleagues and family. This helps prevent distractions and ensures more focused work time. 5. Delegate. Don't try to do everything yourself. Learn to delegate tasks to colleagues or family members when possible. This helps reduce workload and frees up time for more important tasks. There you have it. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can watch this video to learn how you can create YouTube Shorts for free in a few minutes. See you there.